Welcome back to another episode of Geeking Analysis. This week, we'll be exploring the villagers who fall into the dark side, the illagers. Enjoy! Illagers were essentially evil villagers. They bore the same shape as villagers, but were grey-skinned and extremely hostile, wielding axes, crossbows, or magic, as well as using ravages to achieve their mysterious goals. There were three types of villager, each of which had a different function dependent on their weapon. Firstly, there is the Vindicator. Vindicators are your basic iron axe wielding lot of the bunch, capable of attacking players, adult villagers, wandering traders, iron golems and snow golems. They reside in woodland mansions alongside evokers, wander the extensive overworld alongside a band of pillagers and participate in village raid alongside both evokers and pillagers as well as the fatal ravages which they could ride into battle upon. Vindicators hit hard, dealing a mere few hits before a player is killed. They are deadly. Vindicators can open wooden doors just as a villager can during a raid as well as break down doors. That is, if the world's difficulty is set to normal or hard. Their axes are made of iron and have a chance of being enchanted with sharpness. Therefore, the Vindicators will do more damage and become much more of a threat than before. Next, you've got the Evokers. Evokers are the sorcerers of the Woodland Mansions. They appear peaceful at first, but like Vindicators, they are powerful magicians that can summon fangs from the ground, vexes from thin air, and can even change a blue dyed sheep to red. They're the only source of totems of undying, an artifact that can bring its user back to life if held upon by its user upon death. A totem can be can only be used once. Like Vindicators, Evokers lived in the Woodland Mansion. They populated the two top floors alongside their axe wielding counterparts. Evokers would also participate in raids. Their spells, summoning fangs and vexes, and changing a blue sheep to red, are all defined by different colour particle effects when the spell is being done. An evoker doing magic is shown by them raising their arms in the air as if they were cheering. Summoning fangs is shown as dark purple particle effects and accompanied by a low pitched horn. This brings several fangs up from the ground. They're only there for a few seconds but either surround the near vicinity of an evoker, or stretch out in front of it. They will rise up from the ground for a moment, before snapping shut and disappearing totally. The only way to mitigate the damage is by wearing exclusively protection enchanted armour. The second and only other aggressive spell, Summoning Vexes, is shown by white particles and a high-pitched horn. When summoned, Vexes will do the evoker's bidding, Their small, cherub-like appearance can be deceiving. They're deadly and can hunt you down at a surprising speed, even having the ability of travelling through blocks of any kind. This means hiding behind a wall is useless, especially if they're coming after you. Evokers can keep spawning vexes if there are fewer than 8 within a 16 block radius from them. Finally, the sheep conversion spell which is the evoker's only non-aggressive spell, is displayed by orange particle effects and accompanied by a peculiar sound. This spell will take place if an evoker is unengaged in combat and there is a blue villager within a 16 block radius of the evoker. The reason behind this is unclear. It just seems that the evokers have a grudge against blue sheep. The last type of illager is the pillager. They wield powerful, sometimes enchanted, crossbows and serve as the main mass of pillager patrols as well as raids. They can sometimes be riding ravages, just like Vindicators and Evokers, during a raid. However, unlike Vindicators and Evokers, pillagers don't live in the woodland mansions. They spawn away from them. However, they have their own domains in the form of pillager outposts. These are tall standing structures found in the middle of nowhere and house a swarm of pillagers, 
which reside within and around the tower. Two loot chests live on the very top of the outposts. Pillager Captain is the, the one and only rank an Illager has. It's denoted by an ominous banner, aka an Illager banner, sitting above an Illager's head. This banner can be obtained upon a Pillager Captain's death, but will result in a player, if the Captain is killed by a player, receiving the bad omen effect. This 100 minute curse will cause a raid to start if a player were to enter a village before the time had ended. It works only to a homing beacon in this regard. It can be increased in level if a player were to successfully kill a pillager captain before the bad omen had run out. The highest level is 5, which increases the chances of the raid participants wielding enchanted gear. The curse can be broken by the player drinking a bucket of milk. However, the only time the bad omen effect cannot and will not be obtained is when a pillager captain is killed during a raid. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. That is, if you haven't already. I'm on Instagram and Twitter too. The links to both will be in the description. However, that's up to you. I hope to see you in next week's video, but until then, bye.